Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my favorites of March, wait, what month are we in? April? April. April? So today's video is going to be my April favorites. I have a few really solid products here that I have been absolutely loving. I'm really excited to share them with you and let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have here for you guys is the Sun Bum Sea Salt Spray. I shared this on my Snapchat and I told you guys that I've been loving it. Sea salt sprays for me are kind of just like I don't know, they're whatever, they're all right. Like they never really made me feel any type of way. Uh, this one is phenomenal. I've been wearing my hair super beachy like you guys saw in my tutorial. This gives so much volume and so much texture. It doesn't give you a bad frizz, it gives you an amazing beachy, like you were just came out of the ocean and you're one of those girls who has beachy hair that dries beautifully even though maybe that's not the case because it definitely isn't with me. But this stuff makes it amazing. MAC Mineralized charged water moisture eye cream. I have the hardest time trying to find an eye cream that I really love. I always find eye creams that I like, and the problem with eye creams is that a lot of them tend to be too heavy for my under eye area because it is a really delicate skin, but mostly I have sensitive skin in general, so when I try certain under eye creams, they're almost too thick, and then I get little bumps, like little, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if this happens to any of you guys, but I get little bumps from the moisturizer being too thick for my under eye area. So if I find a cream that doesn't do that for me, then I think it's good because I just want a cream that's gonna help and not give me a rash or a breakout, I guess. Uh, this one I started using, I actually kind of purchased this on accident because I wanted the, the giant moisturizer that they have of this and I accidentally on the website ended up purchasing this. But I'm so happy that I did because this is the most refreshing under eye cream I've ever tried. So far this month, I've been using it and it just makes me feel super hydrated under the eyes. It's like a spa treatment when I put it on my eyes because it's so cooling and light. It doesn't feel super thick, doesn't make me break out. Um, as far as any like long-term benefits, I can't tell you guys because obviously I've only been using it this month, but I can tell you that my eye my under eye area is just so much more plumpy and not all dry and cakey like it can be sometimes. So it's been making my concealer look a lot better and I've just been really liking it. So the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Eye Cream is the tits. On to foundation. This is a foundation that I've loved in the past and I kind of just got over it for some reason. Maybe my skin changed. My skin type changes literally throughout the year, depending on the weather. So I've rediscovered the Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade 7.5, which is my more tan shade. This is nothing new to any of you guys. I'm sure everyone on YouTube talks about it, literally, because it is amazing. I don't know how I feel about this when your skin is more oily, because it is very dewy, but um, the trick that I do with dewy foundations that I love the finish, but maybe I'm really oily here and it doesn't work out for me in these areas. So I have a trick that I use this all over my face except the center and then in the center I'll use a matte foundation and just blend them together. So that way I still get the luminous look all over my face but then the oily areas stay dry because it can get a little too slick. You know what I'm saying? So this stuff is phenomenal and if you guys have oilier skin in the T-zone, maybe that's a trick that could help you guys out. But it's so good, it's beautiful coverage and it just looks luminous, like your skin looks the bomb. If you get the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, I highly recommend the Beauty Blender to go hand in hand with it because I've used it with the buffer brush and it doesn't do it justice like the Beauty Blender does. This gives it a totally different experience. I know a lot of people don't know exactly how to use this. Some people try to use it dry, do not use it dry. It's I've done it before too when I first started using these, but you really want to soak it under the water. I mean, not just lightly dampen it, like really soak it in the water. Put it under the sink a few times, make sure you squeeze it up, get all the water in there, because that's what's going to give it that bounce, and you want it to just kind of bounce off your skin. Okay, so moving on to another face product, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. You guys have been seeing me use this in my videos lately and I know that I was on the hunt for a really good concealer and I definitely found it in this Urban Decay one. Um, I actually prefer this over the NARS Crema Concealer that I've been using and it's just my preference. Um, I still do think the NARS is a great concealer but 
Um, for some reason, I feel like this concealer, once it sets, it like stays put. NARS Creamy Concealer, for me, maybe moved around a little bit more than this one does. So I really like that this one just kind of dries, like your under eyes are like, but not in a like cakey, dry, flaky way, just it doesn't move around, it kind of just sets. I'm in the shade Medium Light Neutral and it's a great concealer. Okay, so next, you guys know I love Max Give Me Sun, like I live for it, I wanna bathe in it. It's my favorite bronzer. I've been alternating between Mac Give Me Sun and this bronzer all month. I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this is in Deep Tan. It's a matte bronzer. It's, first of all, I love the packaging. It's just so pretty and um, it smells like chocolate, so you know I love that. This is an amazing bronzer. I absolutely love it. They come in different shades depending on your skin tone. They smell amazing, like I said, chocolate. Actually, I've been told my face smells like chocolate when I wear this. It blends beautifully. The pigment is so nice. It's warmer. It's on the warmer side. At least the shade I have is on the warmer side, which complements my skin tone because I'm a little bit more tan at the moment. Um, you don't want to use a bronzer that's too cool toned if you're tan because it may be gray on you. So I definitely like to pick up the more warm bronzers, but it's not too warm to where I look like an Oompa Loompa. It's just the perfect amount of warmth. And I've been loving this to really just give my whole face that nice glow. So next is my favorite contour brush that I've been using this whole month. Um, and it's the MAC 168 brush, looks like this. Just has like this nice little angle here. It has bronzer on it, because it's dirty. But um, this brush is just the right size to get a really nice contour and just fit right in these little cheekbones here. Blends beautifully. I feel like it gives a sharp contour, but still blends because it's fluffy. It's fluffy, but it's also dense. So you get the best of both worlds, a sharp contour that gets blended out. So the MAC 168 brush for contouring is the tits. So the two eyeshadows I've been loving this month and basically using every time I've gone out to the red carpet event for the Avengers that you guys loved my makeup, I was wearing these eyeshadows and they are the ColourPop eyeshadows that they did in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I love her, she's such a cutie, I just wanna just want to squeeze her, she's so cute. But uh, this is the Kathleen Light Shadow. So I have it on my lids now. It's like the most beautiful gold. I just love it. This is actually the same eyeshadow I wore in the Meet My Husband tag when you guys all loved my makeup. I was wearing this gold eyeshadow. I've been mixing that gold with the other eyeshadow in the quad the quad set that it comes with, and this is Blaze. Wait, does this one not have a name? Oh, this one is called Kathleen Lights, and this one is called Blaze. Okay, I see. The bronze one that I'm gonna show you here, it's such a beautiful bronze, like the perfect, perfect bronzed eyeshadow. So, then the last makeup item I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss that they just came out with, and this is in the shade Undressed. Of course, the nude one is my favorite. This is, I think, the nudest lip gloss that comes in the line, and I have just been loving it. This is not just like a normal lip gloss. This is uh, very pigmented. It's pretty much like liquid lipstick that's glossy because it's not just like a sheer, it's not just a sheer, like look at that. That's that's a lipstick, but it's glossy and I love it. Oh, it's, oh, it smells so good. I'm like a sucker for things that smell like cake, especially because I've been, uh, trying to eat healthier. Sometimes I like put this on my lips and I'm like. So another thing I've been loving this month, it's non-beauty related kind of, I guess. Yeah, non-beauty related. And it's this cute little backpack here. I've been going to the beach a lot and the pool mostly, but um, I just love this because I'll show you why. This is by a company called Sandcloud. Um, let me show you why it's so cool. So it's just this little backpack here. And actually, believe it or not, there's a pack in the back right here for your laptop. Like my laptop fits in here. And a lot of the times when I'm laying out by the pool, I bring my laptop because I'm editing um, always down there. So, so it's a little backpack. You can put all your stuff in it, put like my usual stuff, my music player or my cell phone or my sunblock or my snacks. Inside this bag, there's something else. You just kind of pull it out. 
This bag actually turns into a large towel. Can you guys? So now it's not a backpack anymore. It's like literally just a towel. And I just lay it out and all my stuff stays in the little pouch. So wherever you put your stuff, that actual bag, turns into a pouch that's in the towel. So I know that when I go to the beach, I get all paranoid that my stuff is out and I wanna go in the water, but this, it has like a little hidden compartment. Like you really can't tell that this is a little pocket. And I just put all my stuff in there and it's a towel. I'm like, I absolutely think it's genius. And when I leave, I just fold it back up into a backpack and boom. And lastly, I wanted to share with you guys another favorite of mine this month. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you've been keeping up with my new journey that I've been taking. I wanted to mention it in this video just because I feel like it fits. I just started within the last month and I've been absolutely loving it. And it's Lean Meals. Um, they basically are a company who makes organic, they're pretty much, they're almost 100%, they're not, but they're close to organic meals that are perfectly portioned and they're prepped for you. So Steven and I were trying to eat healthy and it's actually so difficult um, to eat healthy consistently for us, not because we can't, but because we're both so busy. By the time we get home, by the time we're like, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people out there and I know a lot of moms who can do all of this stuff because they're super women and uh, that's amazing. I have not yet got that skill to do it yet uh, so really being lazy to cook and prepping for meals and making sure I always have healthy food on hand is the main factor of me not eating healthy. I found out about Lean Meals. I've been doing it for a month and basically every three days you get a delivery at your door in like this large refrigerator bag and you get all of your meals for the next three days including snacks and it has been a life changer for Steven and I because we do it together and now we're both eating so much healthier. Um, we have been feeling better about ourselves, more energy, and we've also been exercising. So we've been exercising together, nothing fancy, just like um, we've been doing exercises from like YouTube videos. And I've noticed a huge difference in my body. I'm not trying to lose weight. I just really wanted to say that. I don't wanna lose weight. I'm not trying to be skinnier because I understand that I'm skinny. Um, I wanna actually be more toned, maybe have a bigger butt, like do a little bit more squats, you know? Like I want more tone, and when I say tone, I mean tone, you know? I just wanna feel better about myself. It actually kind of bothers me that when I'm telling people that I wanna be healthy and I wanna eat better and I wanna exercise, a lot of people are like, why would you do that? You're already so skinny, you don't need to lose weight. And that's like the really, really messed up mindset of people because Actually, everyone should eat healthy and everyone should exercise because it's not about being skinny, it's about health and it's about being feeling better about yourself and your energy level and the longevity of your life, actually. Uh, it's not about being skinny, it's not about the outside and de definitely it helps to know that you are in great shape. Um, and for those of you who do wanna lose weight, I'm telling you, this, or you don't even have to do like lean meals in general, but just eating healthy without exercise will dramatically change your body and you'll notice it very quickly. It's like this huge eye-opening thing for me and um, I post a lot about it on Snapchat because I want to motivate other people to also eat healthy. Um, and when I see other people sending me their Snapchats now of them eating healthy, it actually makes me super happy because it keep, continues to motivate me to do so. I know Katie started eating healthy too and um, I'm really proud of her because she loves pizza, you guys know this and she has not been eating pizza and she's been eating healthy and I told her like, we should all take a vacation at the end of the summer. We're gonna all be in great shape and super fit and um, just, you know, like everyone wants to be and I understand that I'm not in bad shape. I totally get that, but I wanna be just healthy and um, have a big butt. I mean. All right guys, so that's it for my favorites this month. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave any of your favorites in the comments down below. I'd love to see the products that you guys have been loving, beauty or unrelated to beauty, uh, fitness, any like cool workout videos that you guys know of online because I'm always looking for new workouts. I've kind of been doing the same one and it's like, it reminds me of like a health book in like eighth grade, you know what I'm talking about? It's really, really old fashioned, but it, it works so I've been using that. Um, it's eight minute, was it eight minute abs or nine minute abs? 
I don't know, something like that, but it works really well. So that's about it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay. When I take a selfie with the Snapchat camera, I'm like feeling myself. I'm like, yes. When I take a picture with the iPhone, I'm like, a little snatch. In. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. Oh, I totally said everything wrong.